Welcome to the Rich TV Live podcast. I'm your host, Richard D'Souza, with our very special guest, John Mark Stoddy. How are you doing today, John? Rich, doing great. Great to have you on the show. And my first question is, why Riverside and why now? Please go into the details as to why it is that Riverside is moving into Canada. Riverside has been working for 16 years. And why now is we're sitting with 7 million cash. We're in a great position. Secondly, we built up a very good portfolio in Canada with gold and also rare earth elements. The reason now is the world needs rare earth elements and we are positioning ourselves with those. We also see that gold prices are going up. Recently, gold is hitting some good highs and moving ahead. And Riverside has gold projects. Those are reasons for now Riverside is really good investment. Yeah, we love gold here on the Rich TV Live podcast. Can you give us a few more details on your projects in Canada? For instance, what commodities are you targeting? You betcha. We actually have two separate programs in Canada. The first is in Ontario, where we're targeting gold around some of the large gold mines of Canada. The projects we're on are open pit gold, very nice gold projects with good potential for growth. We're also in British Columbia. They were working on gold and on rare earth elements. The gold in British Columbia is a projection of some of the large previous gold production from Washington State in the United States, projecting up into Canada. And then for strategic critical elements like rare earth elements, Riverside has staked and been progressing on a portfolio now of rare earth elements. We're really setting ourselves up for 2023 and into 2024. Now, targeting rare earth metals is new for Riverside. What made you decide to move in that direction and why target British Columbia? Target in this direction is so important. Right now, China is producing over 97% of the world's rare earth element production. And so there's such a need to diversify. Secondly, for Canada and North America to be more independent. So we believe that British Columbia, where they're known deposits, where there are over 90 known locations, where Riverside has put together now a really great portfolio, we are set to be the growth in Canada, the growth in North America. Rare earth elements are vital for the future, for technology, for electronics, for computers, for electric vehicles, and Riverside's positioning ourselves to be right in the middle of that real important step for our economy. Now, you're one of the best positioned individuals in our industry to answer the following. So with the current government issues in Mexico, do you believe that Mexico once more will end up becoming one of the world's top mining jurisdictions again? Most definitely. You know, Mexico has been a world leader for silver production for five centuries. That's 500 years. So although currently we're going through a blip with the government and then the presidency and things happening, that's wrapping up next year. So I definitely see that we're at an inflection point now with good potential for the future with Mexico. Great deposits, big mines, super potential. Definitely it'll be back. And it's a great place to have our portfolio in Riverside Resources as we also have in Canada now. John, and finally, we can't finish the interview without asking the following question. Where is the gold price heading in your opinion? You know, it's great to see gold moving up. I'm really sad about what's been happening in Israel and been happening in the Middle East. And that's really challenging. What we're seeing is gold price going up when we see conflict. Secondly, with inflation, we definitely see gold price going up. And so I think overall gold's going up and it's really important to own gold assets. Riverside owns gold in the ground. So we're in a great place for that. And we definitely see that over long term, Owning gold, owning juniors can be a great way to be positioned for that future. I want to remind everyone that's watching that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. I want to thank the CEO of Riverside Resources, John Mark Stoddy, for joining us. Thank you for joining us today, John. Rich, great to be on the show. Thank you. Always a pleasure. And I want to remind everyone about the symbols. So the symbol in Canada is RRI. Symbol in America is RVSDF. And remember... If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, CO interviews, breaking news, engaging shows, and trending topics, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.